So it's fair to say that AMD really threw a spanner in the works releasing Ryzen last year. And this year they've released Ryzen 2, and there's no doubting that there are some awesome improvements like a smaller die size, better caching, and the implementation of Precision Boost 2, which has allowed frequency boosts as much as 500 megahertz over those Ryzen 1 chips. There's also now better memory support. While first-gen Ryzen CPUs were a bit fussy on memory and didn't really like running above 2,666 megahertz, second-gen Ryzen CPUs are much improved and will happily run with 3,000 megahertz RAM. This higher frequency means more memory bandwidth for your PC, which will help to boost performance when you're running lots of applications at once or a game with huge textures and levels. These improvements should really show up during gaming where higher frequencies provide the biggest benefits. So how much better is Ryzen 2 for gaming? Well, let's take a look. All of our benchmarks have been done on the same hardware for consistent results. The specs are an ASUS ROG Strix B350F motherboard, Corsair H100i cooler, 16GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 memory, and an EVGA GTX 1070 Ti SC. First up is popular benchmark software 3D Mark. We ran the Firestrike benchmark at 1080p to make the maximum use of the CPU. And as you can see, there's a significant improvement on the new Ryzen 2 CPUs, with the 2700X scoring nearly 10% faster than the previous generation 1800X. Next, we tried the Heaven benchmark, again in 1080p for maximum CPU usage. The new generation shines with both the 2700X and 2600X beating out even Intel's 8700K and easily beating the Ryzen 1 chips. Lastly, we fired up Far Cry 5 to see how the data compared in a real-world test with a modern gaming engine. Again, we kept the graphics at 1080p to ensure the results weren't affected by the GPU. The 2700X again scoring top honours, although in the average FPS there isn't really much in it. The big difference comes in the minimum frame rates, where the Ryzen 2s triumph over the Ryzen 1s. This is where we see the biggest benefit of the new Precision Boost 2 coming into effect. So what about overclocking? Well, we took a Ryzen 5 2600X to see if we could see any benefits on top of the generation gains. And it's fair to say that gains are not huge at around 7% on the minimum frame rates, with a 4.2 GHz overclock, with even less when it comes to average frame rates. This again is down to Precision Boost 2 doing a great job of utilising as much frequency boost as possible and narrowing the gap. It's fair to say that there are gains to be had though, especially if you have a good cooling solution and don't mind a bit of tinkering. So in conclusion, it's pretty obvious. If you're looking at gaming and a Ryzen CPUs on your wish list, it's absolutely worth going with the newest chips versus a small discount on the older generation. However, neither is exactly a bad proposition. So if you've already bought Ryzen 1 last year, it might not be worth changing over as we've seen some seriously strong gaming performance for years to come. If you want more details on how Ryzen 2 performs in other workloads, then you can check out our tech spec video linked in the description or on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the latest news and features from us here at SCAN. And you can check out our Ryzen CPUs at scan.co.uk.